Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to talk about regular expressions. What are regular expressions and how we can use them in Salesforce. So let's start. Uh, so this is basically a vast topic, but I'll try to keep it as basic as possible and explain uh, according to the knowledge. Yep. So a regular expression is a sequence of characters that specifies a search pattern in text. So uh, uh, it uh, regular expressions is basically a string and that specifies a search pattern and uh, will pass a text and based on that search pattern uh, that uh, some specific validations or searches can be performed so usually such patterns are used by string searching algorithms for find or find and replace operation on strings or for input validation so uh, in salesforce input validation is an important use case uh, where we can use uh, regular expressions so uh, so let's see an example. So let's say we have a string and we want to find a specific pattern in that. Uh, let's say uh, validating an email or validating a zip code uh, uh, so that it is in a specific pattern. So uh, if we talk about the regex or regular expression for validation of email, you can see that uh, this is the regex which is uh, shown here. And uh, um, we will we'll understand what are the basics behind that what does this all stuff mean but uh, firstly let's just say that we'll pass this email regex and we'll pass in an email so if uh, that email uh, is as per this pattern that we have provided in the regex then uh, our uh, function will return true otherwise false so basically this is for the validation that the email should be in the specific format so uh, yeah so this was one example where we can use a regular expression. So uh, now let's uh, now let's see the basics of regular expression. Yeah. So uh, the basics of we have some operators uh, in regex which specify some conditions. So I'll I have uh, created some points. I'll try to explain it as easy as possible. So uh, firstly, uh, the first operator that is a circumflex operator. So you can also say that it is indicating at the top. Uh, so this basically means, uh, uh, this basically indicates the starting symbol that uh, uh, if we have the circumflex operator uh, as the first character and after that we have something. So that means it should start with those characters. For example, we have circumflex fruit. So that means the, uh, the order in the string should start with fruit words, characters right the second is the dollar operator which means end of end with a specific word so let's say we can have any characters here let's say we have cat and we have dollar so this means that all the words that end with cat uh, dollar symbol indicates the end with specific word then we have a dot operator uh, which signifies any character can match uh, the dot symbol uh, yes, so let's say we have an example C dot T. So for this uh, regular expression, cat as well as C E T both will match this uh, regular expression. Then we have the star operator. Star operator signifies any number of characters can be present to the match. So uh, let's take this expression and this ex expression signifies it should start with C A after that there can be any number of characters uh, unlimited number of times right yeah then then we have the plus operator which signifies one or more occurrence of the character before it so uh, if we take this regular expression uh, this indicates that uh, the it should start with small a and after that uh, the, uh, it, this is round brackets. This round brackets indicates a group and this BC group can uh, can occur one or more times. And if that happens, then uh, this uh, pattern would match that string. Right. Then we have the question mark operator, which signifies zero or one occurrence of character before this operator. So uh, let's say uh, let's take this symbol, uh, which means that uh, any any symbol can occur uh, in the front uh, unlimited number of times then uh, then 
uh, then B should be present. Z, uh, B should occur zero or one times because we have a question mark and uh, question mark signifies zero or one occurrence of character before it. So before it we have B. So B, uh, it's like zero or one occurrence of B before it. Then at the end we have the dollar symbol, uh, which indicates the end of the word. So in this case, uh, B can occur one zero or one time. Now. Uh, we have the square brackets we can signify the range uh, in the score square brackets let's say like uh, we want to find alpha numeric characters so alpha numeric can be uh, small a to cap small z capital a to capital z and 0 to 9 so we can give this square bracket range and then we can say that uh, any character any alpha numeric character can match uh, this regular expression and lastly we have this uh, round brackets this round bracket signify that uh, uh, we can match a group. Like if we want uh, in this example the, uh, for the plus operator, we gave it in a round brackets and this this says that that BC should be present. Uh, there should be one or more occurrence of BC uh, only. Uh, the first group should be ignored. It is specific to this group. <clears throat> then then we have some other characters. Uh, so we have backward slash. Uh, w backward slash d which indicates uh, backward slash w indicates any alphanumeric uh, word that could be present and backslash d indicates any digits that could be present so uh, let's say we take one pattern smith slash mr jones this is the pattern and we ha we want to find out if the names present in the string is in this pattern so I have already created a, a RE string for this. So I'll explain you. So it's uh, the double inverted commas indicate it is a string, right? Then then we have a capturing group, uh, crown brackets. Then we have this slash W. This slash W indicates uh, uh, any word can match it. And uh, there are two slash, two backward slashes, which which indicates uh, one backward slash is a escape character. So first backward slash is uh, escape and this slash w would be uh, indicate that uh, a word should be present here. Uh, and then there is the plus operator. So uh, plus operator indicates that there could be one or more word uh, before the character of the character before it. Then uh, we have a comma. Uh, after the comma, we have an escape character. S, uh, one first backward slash is an escape character. Then we have the slash s. Slash s indicates uh, space. There could be space. Then we have an or operator. Uh, the straight pipe symbol uh, in this capturing group is an or operator. This means Mr, Miss, Mrs and Doctor. Any uh, of these four can come here. Uh, uh, like if any four of these is present, then it this string would match the pattern. So uh, if I take this string Smith slash Mr. Jones, so Mr. Mr. is present here. So uh, yeah, so it is part of this. So uh, that is why it is matching the pattern. Then we have a dot operator. Dot means it can match any symbol. And then we have the question mark. Question mark is uh, operator indicates that uh, we uh, zero or more one occurrence of the characters before it. So there can be zero or or max one occurrence of these characters. Then after this, uh, we have the space. Like after this, Mr. Miss Mrs. There should be one space, and then there there can be one or more word after it. The plus operator indicates one or more. So that is why this is the regex for this pattern. Similarly, if we want to uh, validate a URL, we have this pattern. Uh, so I hope now you would be able to get how a uh, word what uh, slash w means, what plus operator means, what is a question mark operator, round brackets, right? So, yeah, I think we can uh, now start the classes for regex in Apex. So basically, we have two classes in Salesforce, which we can use to perform regex operation to validate the string, etc. First is the pattern class. So the pattern class is basically, it represents a compiled representation of a regular expression so uh, let's say we uh, have one regex uh, which uh, which is this one and uh, it indicates that uh, 
they we have a, a group in this group we have uh, another group that is slash b and then we have a b question mark and after this full group we have a plus operator right plus indicates one or more recurrence of uh, characters before it uh, then uh, what we'll do is this my pattern uh, object uh, that which is an instance of pattern or class would contain the compiled version of the regex now we can use a matcher uh, uh, now we can use methods of the pattern class, right? So uh, let's say we use a dot matcher method. This matcher method returns a matcher object. The matcher uh, object uh, matcher is another class which is provided by Salesforce. So uh, which which I'll show you after this slide. So uh, matcher class basically allows us to perform more operations apart from uh, these present in the pattern class. Then uh, another important method we have uh, present in this uh, pattern class is dot matches. This, uh, this method uh, returns a Boolean value true or false if the uh, string matches the regex, right? So first, first parameter would be the regex, the second parameter would be the string. So if the regex matches uh, the string or the string matches the regex, then this uh, value would return true. So uh, for this pattern class, uh, we have these three main methods. Uh, right then uh, let's go to the matcher class so the matcher class uh, it allows us to do further actions such as checking to see if the string match the pattern or allows to manipulate the original string in various ways right so uh, some important method are dot matches uh, method so uh, uh, this attempts to match the this method attempts to match the entire region against the pattern second is the group so this uh, this uh, method returns the group that got matched to the specific regex so uh, let's say we have a pattern uh, then we uh, there would be different capturing groups that got matched to the regex let's say a b a then uh, we have uh, a b also a pattern that got matched right so uh, we can we can have uh, those specified in the groups so if we use this matcher dot group we'll get the specified regex so uh, now let's see the relationship between pattern and matcher class in Salesforce. So uh, the, uh, the regular expression string which we pass, uh, we can compile that uh, using the pattern class method dot compile. And uh, after we do that, the pat we can use the dot uh, matcher method to return as many matcher objects as we want. And then we can perform uh, the necessary uh, functions which we have been provided by the matcher class. So uh, these are to find, to group, and uh, to replace the strings. So these all functions we can perform using the matcher object uh, that we get after compiling the regular expression string. So uh, now we have an example uh, that uh, we can use in Salesforce to validate an email. So if you remember, I told you this is the uh, regex to see if the email is in the correct format or not. So this is a code snippet and uh, after after that uh, we can compile uh, this regex using pattern.compile method. It would, it would return a pattern instance. After that we can use that instance and we can uh, uh, use the dot matcher method. Uh, uh, then uh, and we can provide in the email ID. The email ID is the string which we got to validate and uh, uh, th it will return a matcher object. Uh, this matcher object uh, would have a me method uh, dot matches so if that is true then result is equal to true and then return the result so if the email is in the correct format then this method would return true otherwise it will return false since the default value is false so yeah uh, so that's it on the slide side now uh, let's let me go to the browser and show you the documentations so this is the pattern class documentation so basically this class returns a compiled version of RE and these are its methods. I'll share the links. You can go through and read through them if you want to understand in detail. Similarly, this is a matcher class. So we have uh, multiple methods that are provided by the matcher class. Uh, so I'll you, I'll show you the, I've shown you the dot matches method and uh, uh, dot group method I'll show you uh, later. So these are, these are all the methods of the matcher class uh, then we also have an example that is given by salesforce uh, 
on how to use the pattern in the matching class. So uh, also I just want to mention that we have a, a website regex101.com. So here you can uh, enter your regular expression and then you can input your string to test that if any string matches this regex. Also, if once you enter this once you enter the regex, uh, it will show the explanation for that, like uh, what all characters it will match, uh, what does uh, what operator means what. So it will show that in this explanation uh, uh, input box. And uh, let me go to the developer console, and uh, I'll let us run some uh, code. So, uh, so this is a uh, this is our re regex, and this regex means uh, uh, this regex uh, means that it sh should start with this uh, small a to cap small z, capital A to capital Z. I'll just make it capital Z, and uh, there can be unlimited number of this can be repeated unlimited number of times, and this uh, operator uh, signifies it should start with this. Then we uh, we should have a a comma and after that we have another this uh, square brackets and this uh, star symbol which indicates any word uh, between this uh, uh, within this square brackets can be repeated unlimited number of times then we have the dollar symbol which means it should end with that so uh, now uh, we will use the uh, it, this will my pattern would contain the compiled version and we'll use the dot matcher method and we'll provide in our string then we will use the dot m dot matches uh, method to see if uh, this string matches or not and then we have the m dot group method so i'll just highlight this and i'll uh, click on execute highlighted and let's see then what our response so firstly we are getting true uh, that means this regex is getting matched to this pattern that means uh, this string is uh, as per this regex pattern right and then uh, we are calling the dot group method so dot group method is returning the group which got matched so this is the full group that got matched to the string right now uh, similarly i'll run this one so this is like instead of creating a matcher object you can directly use uh, the pattern dot matches pattern is the pattern class and we can use the matches method in that there we will have to provide in the regex and the second parameter would be the string so if uh, this string is as per the regex uh, so uh, then it will return true otherwise false uh, so this is this is one of the regex i'll explain you so uh, this uh, backward slash w means uh, any word can uh, it could match to any word small a cap small a to small z capital A to capital Z and this uh, one indicates uh, the escape character after that we have these uh, curly braces within the curly braces we have written 5 to 10 this means that uh, it should have a, uh, it should match with the, at least 5 characters and uh, up to 10 it could match to if it could match to up to 10 characters so let's run this and see execute highlighted The first one is returning false and the second one is returning true i'll explain you so the first one in the in our name we uh, apart from having a having characters we also have a number right we have nine here so but in our regex we haven't uh, put nine here so if i'll add something like this right then it will match to our pattern so I'll run that after that and uh, this string has uh, six characters that is why this uh, regex is getting matched to the string. So I'll just run this uh, system.debug again and let's see what is the result now. Uh, now this is true. Yeah. So now our uh, string is getting matched to the regex. So yeah. So this was kind of like a very basic tutorial. Uh, regex is a very vast topic and would require uh, a lot of time to get acquainted with. So, but uh, this is like uh, this is a starting point. You can uh, refer to my video and get uh, start getting learned. Uh, start using regex in your projects, and uh, you know now know which classes to use in Salesforce uh, to start using regular expressions in Salesforce. Yeah. So thanks everyone for uh, watching the video and please like and subscribe the channel.